Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from a toy race course here on Saturday. It is April the 7th, 2018. We'll look at the stakes races, races four and five from a toy. Before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. I'm going to look at race four and five, both of the group races. The fourth race from a toy, it is Dupree Murat Chase. It's a group two chase going for a purse of $263,000, which for five year olds and upwards. Field of seven horses going two miles and three quarters or 4400 meters on the chase course my top pick in this race i like the number two horse milroyd thomas i'm gonna go two four one in the tricast so the trifecta two four one tricast trifecta top pick number two milroyd thomas um two to one here jacques Ricou is on this one it's nine year old gelding by cap guard star diaville this horse is most recent out and came on the 26th of november that came out of toy locally soft ground two miles three quarters in the group two georgie's Cortez chase this horse finished second by one half lengths behind Royal Maj. she's running back in this one today you know this horse just lacked a little bit on the run-in but other than the run-in this horse he went around the race course quite well I think first off the layoff he should run he should be fresh enough to run a big one start before the 5th of November at Atelier two miles three miles and three eighths in the group one hey Jocelyn Chase horse finished second by four and a half lengths he lost to pa by a Paulier uh, who, who ran a great race but again he, he jumped well he was he was definitely second best that day and then at Compiègne on the 20th of October, two miles three eighths, and just a listed hurdle. The first over the hurdles in quite a while. He finished third by two and a quarter lengths off a year break. You know, he ran quite well, lacked a little bit on the run, but for a year break, he didn't run well. But um, in 2016, he won the Hay, the Group 1 Hay Jocelyn Chase by a half length, quickening up very nicely, and he won a very nice handicap in October of 2016 at a toy very easily. I like him a lot here today. Two to one, I know it's not the best price, but you're going to have to hit the try cast with this one. So to recap my bets for the fourth from a toy, it's the Group 2 pre Morat Chase gonna go with the two horse Milroy Thomas gonna go two four one in the tri cast of the trifecta. So now let's get on to race number five from Atelier. The fifth race, it's the Group 3 pre Pepin Vast Hurdle. It's a Group 3 race going for a purse of $149,500. It's for four year olds only. Here, this Hurdle race, field of six horses going the two miles and one quarter trip or about 3,600 meters over the Hurdle course. Top pick in this race, I like the number two horse, Master Dino. Gonna go 216 in the tri cast of the trifecta. 216 tri cast trifecta. Top pick number two, Master Dino. Uh, three to one here. James Reedley is on this one. This horse is most recent out and came on the 18th of March at Otoe. First start of the year, two miles and a quarter, heavy ground in the group three hurdle. This horse finished second by length behind Tunis. I backed Tunis that day, and he's running back in this one today. But this horse, you know, probably needed that race. He jumped well, lacked a little bit on the end, but, you know, it, it was an okay race. Um, you know, before that, Atelier, the 5th of November of 2017, two miles and a quarter in a three-year-old allowance race, he won by nose, first time facing the three-year-olds in, uh, in six weeks, or excuse me, two months. You know, he, he won very nicely, he jumped well going around the race course, and he had a great race, and then the group two, Talet Roy Hurtle at Atelier, two miles and a quarter on October the 8th, facing four-year-olds that day. He, he won by neck again, he jumped well, and, and beat Tunis to a very nice victory. Um, but before that, Atelier, wasn't, it was probably one of his worst races in 2017, probably one of his worst races his lifetime and I listed hurdle locally at two miles and a quarter and very wet ground he finished third by 12 lengths wasn't getting a piece of anything that day I do think the ground was just a little bit too waterlocked for him but I do like him here second off the layoff three to one again it's not the best price but you're gonna have to take it here so to recap my bets for the fifth from Atoya it's the group three pre pep and vast hurdle gonna go with the two horse master dino gonna go two one six in the tri cast of the trifecta so good luck to all please follow me on twitter at horse racing kit five good luck